they're still talking about the the ike electricity tariff the Na the national union of electricity employees have come out to say hey we are going to down tools if the federal government go ahead with the with the with the with the with the with the plan although they, they've, they've implemented it the the ike in electricity tariff and that's on one hand and they are coming out to say again that um, if um, electricity consumers continue to maltreat their 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 workers they will also down to now just let's look at this from a broader perspective now if um and you choose to down to what do you think will be the ripple effect and do you think that the government um would dance to their tune by taking off subsidy of electricity electricity and also reversing this implementation on an electricity tariff ike well, let me borrow from the president and say electricity tariff tariff i mean the subsidy of electricity is gone because it has been implemented already so it is gone so the only thing the government will now do now via the ministry of power and of course uh, all the stakeholders in the power sector is to generate enough electricity the maltreatment of this of, of this uh, workers by customers will stop if you generate enough electricity and you supply people then this yeah, this could be the workers will not be treated. the issue is as a result of you are saying somebody is bad thing and you're supposed to have 20 hours of electricity the person does not even see that 20 hours of electricity then you are still asking the person to pay that um, what the EOT, what that organization has not even consumed. And that's why we are saying the other coming from the power. And so, personally, how is it going to be that? It has already been changed to bad day. And that's why we are saying this kind of bad treatment from the customers to this um, workers. So, the minister has a role to play here. Ensure that um, Genco, uh, the transmission, and uh, this code are all working together to ensure that they increase generation. It is as simple as that. Increase. You can't talk of 3 megawatts or less than that for 200 million Nigerians. Then you are telling me I will consume 20 hours. It is not possible. So that is the issue. Yeah. All right then. Now, there seems to be a big uh, situation in the country now. Manufacturers and those concerned stakeholders have come out and they are lamenting that despite the reasonable appreciation that we are seeing in the foreign exchange market, dollars seem to be scarce to get. And also, the, 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 the electricity tariff act that we just talked about now is posing a serious threat to the operation. They are saying that uh, if this situation gets out of hand and the government does not come to intervene in it urgently, 40% of manufacturing companies in this country will go out of extinction. Charles, this begs the question. I still say this again, and I'll continue to say it. For a government that is concerned about promoting ease of doing business in this country, what do you think about the kind of policies that is coming up with both at the monetary level and also at the physical level? Do you think that there's any form of synergy to bring about the necessary growth that is needed in our business environment? Well, thank you. The government will do what they can do, looking at um, how the economic managers perceive the economy. Now, they are saying government is spending so much on electricity subsidy. And that's why they want to renew, and that they want to increase the time they are done already for a certain class of consumers. Yes. And so when we look at it, I want to spoke about balancing. Balancing. You do that, you say, okay, the value pays so much electricity, and some of these are manufacturers. And that's what they increase that so much. Like I said, they're not creating that commission based development for them. When they produce, the cost of their item wants to be increased by over 300 percent. They will still come back to the consumer who will never have the potential power again. So government has to look at it very well and do a balancing act. And like I said, yes, we must try to commend them for saying it is only by three first. And let's see how it's going to pass out. Because they already have plans and I'm sure of that to increase production of this electricity. And if after a period of time, Nigerians are not seeing the increase in the production. Then it is obvious that, like you have said, the monetary and the fiscal are not in energy. In fact, they don't even know, they don't even know what they are doing. But we are seeing the monetary part doing all they can to ensure that NANA is stabilized, which is also 
work for businesses or even for the investment, investment to come in. That's on the fiscal side also. The government also needs to do a lot of work. And one most important thing we are talking today is power. The everything boils down to increase this power production or generation. Increase it. And if we, what I'm saying is that it's not required to increase it. If we have absolute equipment, then they should discard those ones and get new equipment. It is better to spend so much now to get the right equipment, the technology, and ensure that the vehicles generate enough. When they can't generate the direct enough issues with transmission. So, what transmission company of Nigeria can it be overhauled to see that if the vehicles are able to generate, even if it's a 50,000 megawatt, the transmission company should be able to warehouse it and now distribute that same quantity to the disco so that everybody will have this quota of electricity. And I'm telling you, Nigerians will win as long as they see those electricity. And you see that, of course, prices of food items or macadamia goods will go up a bit. Then gradually, gradually, the girls will have done that the government has to increase generation of electricity.